Well, hello, we are the Homies team. Um, I'm Victoria, I'm the project manager. I'm Lindsay, I'm the content lead. I'm Anna, I'm the UX lead. I'm Vilma, I'm the UI lead. And I'm Michaela, and I'm the dev lead. Living with roommates can be challenging when you have to manage chores and other household responsibilities. Roommates have to keep track of chores, bills, and the day-to-day -day communications. All of this can make avoiding conflicts a challenge. With our Homies app, Homies is a roommate management app that empowers roommates to keep track of shared responsibilities and facilitate communications. So how did we start? So we started this project with the goal of creating a system that can help users manage all of the different tasks they encounter. And this includes cleaning tasks, grocery shopping, cleaning tasks, and we also had a number of supporting features, such as the nudge features, status update feature, calendar views, housekeeping rules page, etc. So initially, we had a lot. But over the past two terms, we did a lot of iteration, and here is where we are today. So over the past few terms, you can take a look at our process. At the start, we went through an ideation phase where we developed um, wireframes and did some user research. Um, and then we went into our mid fidelity prototype where we identified our three main pain points. And finally, we went into our high fidelity prototype where we redesigned our navigation and began to code. During this process, we wanted to make sure we focused on researching our user demographic in order to develop our concepts. And one of the ways we did that was by starting out by conducting simple preliminary interviews, asking five brief questions, including, do you have good relationships with your roommates? How do you currently manage your household activities? And is that effective or not effective and how? Some of the insights we received can be captured by these quotes as shown on the slide. And these quotes capture the lack of reliability, trust, and responsiveness that college students often feel when living with other people. Now, based on the user interviews, we developed two user personas that captured aspects of our target users. As shown here on the slide, Daniel Joe and Hannah Riley, they are both college students and Daniel wants to live peacefully with his roommates and stay focused on his studies. He wants home management of chores to be effortless and to keep conflicts between roommates to a minimum. His roommates can sometimes be annoying, but he's not someone who's comfortable with con confrontation about issues. As for Hannah, she typically takes on most of the household responsibilities in her shared apartment. And so her main challenge is feeling like she is pulling most of the weight and she feels bad when she has to repeatedly bring things up to her roommates about reminding them of different tasks and duties. We were also interested in researching other apps that are meeting a similar goal. And two of these apps are in our are, are home and homey. Our home is a chore management app designed for families with children. And what we liked about this app was that there was a built-in user engagement and appreciation aspect through liking and commenting on recent activity. What we saw in our home that we didn't really think worked was the color and numbering system on the calendar that seemed really complex. But we did appreciate how there was a lot of customization options that included for when, we, when users had to create a task. Homey is another similar app that we looked at. A few strengths that we noticed was the visualization elements, such as the charts and progress bars, as well as categorizing the different chores by room. And a main takeaway from reviewing this app was the unnecessary number of screens to complete an action. And this is something that we wanted to simplify in our app. So here we can take a look at our low fidelity prototype. As you can see, we had a lot of functionality. In our homepage, we included a messaging and react feature, status updates and a roommate agreement. And in our task page, there were a lot of different views. So you could filter by user and go into a calendar view. 
And then we also included a money page at the start. This page was meant to let users split bills and keep track of smaller expenses. And then we added to do page where users could keep track of their own personal tasks. After our low fidelity, we had a lot of ideas and we realized that we needed to hone them in. So with all of these ideas, we really wanted to focus on features and core um, values that would make our app unique. So by discovering that our assumptions might have been wrong at the start that we wanted to solve all of the roommate problems, it was just as valuable as finding out that we wanted to prove which ones would make our app unique. So when we realized this, we wanted to come up with a process that would help us conduct user interviews in a better way. So we broke it down into three steps. The first one was a problem interview where we would ask users to tell us about a time when. So what we really wanted to do was prompt users to share stories and pain points that they've actually encountered rather than generalized questions about encounters with their roommates. From here, we were able to pull insights about people's current experiences and come up with our solution. So the solution interview was really just to test that hypothesis that, okay, we really think that appreciation could be something here and people wanted to express and communicate with their roommates in a better way regarding tasks and the management of responsibilities. So from there, we created some designs and we're able to do a usability test from there. So we realized here that the secret to user interviews is asking those non-leading questions and open-ended questions about getting users to tell me a time when or what if this happened. So from our problem interviews, these were our three main pain point findings. Uh, appreciation, balance of responsibilities, and miscommunicated expectations. And these major findings are basically a turning uh, point for us in our design process, in our design decision, because these issues are what drives our design. So for appreciation, users felt like their work was not appreciated. In other cases, some users were not aware that someone did the work. This could lead to some passive aggressiveness between roommates. Like in this quote, I did trash, by the way, look like almost looking for a gold medal. This finding backed up our design decision for having a recent activity section as shown on the slide, which, which tells the users what is going on around the house so they're aware of one another's work. Additionally, users can also react to the completion of others' tasks feeling recognized and appreciated for the work they completed. Next is balance of responsibilities. So sometimes a roommate is taking on more work than others, which requires more effort and responsibilities. And this oftentimes leads to a feeling of unfairness between the person and the other roommates. So in response to this, we created a chart visualization showing the effort distribution among roommates. How this works is that when creating a task, it can be assigned a certain effort level. So for example, cleaning the toilet involves more work than taking out the trash. The pie chart visualization is based on the effort level set to each task a user is responsible for. And the chart basically serves as a visual indicator, providing insight to the roommate regarding the current imbalance or balance of the workload. Next is um, last of miscommunicated expectation. So communication uh, about what task roommates should do and how often is not expressed well. And this leads to the confusion on what should be done around the house. This problem made us realize we needed a clearer creating a task page with details such as who is doing it, when, what the task is and how often it should be done. After building out our mid-fidelity, we conducted further testing to measure our changes. And the biggest thing we noticed was that users struggled to navigate to specific sections of the app. In many scenarios, we had to guide users to the right page in order to get them to execute the prompt during our interview. We also found that our request and reassign features seemed to cross over in functionality and that users were not as inclined to use the request feature at all. From the usability testing, we also decided to remove the payments page. There was a lot of details and possibilities that were out of the scope of our project. Plus it did not align with the main goals um, like the pain points that we had mentioned earlier. For that reason, we decided to further simplify the main functionality of our app. 
So we knew that we needed a style guide, but that was not so enforced at the start of our project. But it was around this stage of our app development when our UI became clear through several iterations that it became more apparent that our design language was inconsistent and started becoming an issue. So we have this style guide shown here that we always refer back to to make sure the correct, uh, the correct font size, color, design assets were being used. One example of design inconsistencies is differentiating our input field and the card design uh, as shown on the very right. So previously the input field and the card had the same background color, so clear differentiation was needed as they both serve different purposes, the input field for typing in and the card for displaying text. To address this issue, the design of the input field was altered to have a border and a white background. This change is subtle, but it provides a clear differentiation between the two different design elements. And it was through this learning experience that really taught us how important UI consistency is. So for our final UI, we realized that the main functionality is the management of tasks. So in the final version, we have two points of navigation. One, the recent tasks and insights toggles and then two, your settings and notifications. So through this, we added the main task button at the bottom so that that would always be available to users since that is the main functionality of our task, of our app. Um, we also completely removed the payment feature like we mentioned, because it wasn't aligned with our vision and goals. So you'll see that reflected in our final design. So on the recent tab, this is default to user's home screen so that as soon as they log into the app, you'll be able to react and comment on other roommates activities. So that emphasizes our engagement and appreciation for what the roommates have done. Also, you notice in the previous design, users wanted to know their tasks and everyone's tasks. So we have a toggle for that on the task page. We also clarified the reassign feature and request feature. So now you'll be able to claim tasks up for grabs and also edit the due dates for a task if you cannot complete it. So here you'll see the insights page. We added this as a main feature in the toggle, the three toggles at the top there, because in the previous tests, users emphasized that this was extremely valuable to them. They loved seeing the data visualization of what the most or where the work was distributed among all the roommates. So now by adding this to the main tabs, users can easily see the distribution of tasks. So after we did some more usability testing with this final UI, we realized that once you found a problem worth solving, there will be no second guesses. Users really know how to navigate your app without any hesitation. Now that we have the majority of the UI and UX refined, we began to start outlining and developing the micro interaction by creating this interaction flow shown on the slide here. So we have three major interactions we worked on, one for emoji reaction, one for completing a task, and one for claiming a task. And for each of these micro interactions, we have the trigger, the feedback, and the rule identified. This flow was helpful to make sure that our micro interaction style was consistent throughout the app, as well as useful for the development team so they can refer back to the flow when developing the micro interactions. Um, okay, so Victoria, uh, Victoria, can you start over the video? Okay, you can play it now. So this app was created using React.js and Firebase. And as you can see, we've implemented a login system that allows the user to create an account using their email and password. I've also added a way for the user to toggle between showing and hiding their password. Um, there are also some restrictions, so it'll let the user know if they aren't meeting the exact character limit. This also goes for the email as well. It'll tell if the email is formatted correctly, and it'll also alert the user if the email is already in use. And then once the user is logged in, um, just wait for it. Um, once the user is logged in, we're brought to this page where it'll give the user the option to either um, join a group or create a group. And then Victoria, if you just pause. And then um, from this page, um, you have our um, 
once you log in, once the user logs into the app, you have our task section. And from here, we also have our uh, task management um, system included. And the way this works is, and Victoria, you can continue playing the video. Um, the user would go to that task button. Um, the user would type in their task um, within this Moodle, and then they could uh, set their desired options within the Moodle. And then once they're done, they can set that task and that task would appear right on the task page. And then from here, you can see um, who uh, added that task. You can mark it complete and you can also uh, delete this task if you wish. Um, another thing is if the user decides to visit any other section in this app, that task will still remain on that page. Uh, you can go to the next slide, Victoria. And so for uh, future development, we'd like to look more into collecting data from users and outputting them into our insights page, which would show how many users in a group are completing tasks. Uh, we also wanna extend our onboarding processes with our roommate agreement, which would also collect data from users. Um, another thing is our emoji reaction button. We wanna make it functional in the future so users can uh, react to other tasks. And another thing is our notification system. We ideally want to give reminders to users and notify when tasks are being completed or added. And these functionalities we uh, originally wanted to add um, this term, but it requires a lot more research um, in collecting data overall for users. And next slide. To wrap up the progress of our app, here is a short animation of the user journey. All right, I gotta take out the trash today. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna drop this icky bag right here. Perfect. Now let me just die. Yes, great. Let's see how our overall progress for the month has been so far. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the least amount of effort in this house. Okay, that's not fair for my roomies. Let me, let me take on some more responsibilities. Clean stove, I can definitely do that. All right, look at that. Shiny, shiny, and clean. Wait a minute, that's been there for a while now. I got work to do, so I can't do it right now, but I gotta let my roommate know because this dish needs to be taken care of. Let's have it done by tomorrow, least for anyone to do. Perfect, set. All right, it's out there for grabs. Wait, did somebody already? Michaela, wow, she completed the task already. I appreciate you, Michaela. Honestly, thanks to homies, living with roommates has never been easier. And that's all. Uh, if you have any questions, just shout them out.